Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here in Newcastle ahead of the press conference for Bad Blood Davis against Ritson. With me I've got a surprise addition maybe, maybe not. Possibly, yeah. Yeah, Dave Allen, how are you mate? I'm very well, thank you. I've come, um, I weren't planning on coming today. I said to the guys at Matchroom, I said, um, I'm not coming because I'm not sure if I'm boxing. But Eddie said I need to be in. I said, you know what, he paid my training fare. He says, yes, I'm coming, I'll be there. After the day, uh, the David Price fight, there was a lot of speculation that yeah. oh, you might retire. You've, yeah. you've, you've obviously made a little bit of coin now. Yeah. You want to enjoy life, but that's not you, is it? You, you love to fight. Yeah, I do like to fight. I enjoy to fight, and I sat down with my dad and my granddad, and I think I can become British heavyweight champion. Not if Daniel Dubois is the champion, I can't. So we're going to wait for him to move on. I think I can mix it with the Gormans. Um, I don't know if Sam Sexton's still about. Mm -hmm. Them kind of good British level fighters. You know, Nathan, I still believe, will go on further, but at the minute, that little pool of talent that's there, I think, I think I'm a good addition. I think I can beat them all on my day. And so I'd like to become British heavyweight champion. Yeah, I'm not saying David Price knocked all world championship ambition out of me, but um, I'd love to come back at British title level and have a go. And also, um, I'm not opening the gym, but I'm creating. Like I said earlier, I'm trying to create what um, what Brendan did for me and for Brendan many Ingram, others yeah. in Wincombe. I'm trying to do that in Doncaster. they have got three lads here now, which so I'll bring in later because I'm trying to trying to like what Brendan did to me when I went to Brendan Ingalls at 16. I was um, I was shy. I was a bit troubled. I was a bit shy. Uh, yeah, I was very shy. And um, so I'm trying to create that now. You know, I've got. I think I've probably got between 25. I think 20. 20 of them will be men, 5 of women. They're trying to get a bit of timber off these birds, you know what I mean? And some of the lads are trying to get some timber off. Some, some are going to box. Some are already boxed. have got one pro there. One, uh, Danny's a good amateur. Some are, some are, I don't know what I'm whispering, but some, some are a bit naughty. Try, trying to get them all straight and narrow, or trying to get some to box. And it's costing me a fortune, so I need to box again. Just trying to, trying to fund it all. Trying to fund it all. And, um, and the unboxing still to get like, keep that platform, keep them going, keep them listening to me essentially, because they all listen at the minute. But do you say that you inspire these young kids? I mean, I've spoken to yeah. Danny before, Danny Muro. He's, I think it was a, a Liverpool show or something like that. Long time ago. I'll bring them in. They'll tell you the story of themselves. Danny, come here, boys. Bring Liam as well. I love, I love the, uh, bring Liam as well. Yeah. So uh, I think so. I think it's not. It's not the. Bo it's not a boxing thing. Cause I tell them all. It's not a boxing right. thing. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can talk to them. You can ask them what you want to ask them. You're the boxer though, Danny, are you not? One, how, how's, yeah. how's training going? I've seen you've, you've got like a little four pack going on now. So yeah, four. How's not that? six, but yeah. it's not bad. The big yeah. man's got the six pack though, eh? Yeah, I know, and he doesn't even train. He <laughs> does my head. <laughs> <laughs> not so as hard as me at this point, anyway. So, how is training? You got any fights lined up? Uh, you're still amateur, are you not? Yeah, I'm still amateur, but I'm only 17, so. When I turn Long 18, time. I'm hoping to. Well, I don't know. It's up to well, obviously, I'm the boss, as I always tell you. I, say, I, I well. say to Danny, train hard. Do as I say to do, and and then um, you'll do equally as well as me. Hopefully, better. You know, and and I don't say that in terms of I've done well, but I'm a smart guy, really. So a lot of people think I'm daft, but um, I can tell you I'm not. Because a lot of people say I ain't got no talent. If I've got no talent, I, I must be smart. You'd so be, uh, yeah, yeah. so yeah, Danny's doing really well. Um, he's well, in, in fact, in you want to introduce some Dave? Because that's I know yeah, this guy. Danny, Danny, Danny. Danny. Obviously, everyone knows Danny. He's uh, amateur at the minute. He's just enjoying things. Yeah. He's around me very much myself. Taylor's a one and zero pro. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I, what would you say I'm, I'm looking after him? I'm He's kind of guiding me, aren't Advisor? Yeah. I'm just going to yeah, guide advisor. him. Yeah. Yeah. Advisor, is that? Yeah. I'm, good mates, I'm good mates with his dad, Sheepy. You know Sheepy. <laughs> right. Yeah, his dad's well, so Sheepy. And, uh, so, I'd say I'm just, I'm just, uh, just guiding him along in life, really. And then we've got Liam. Liam's new member. Alright, Liam. You been on the AFL before? Nah, mate. Well, this is your first time. <laughs> so, uh, Liam will tell you a little bit about himself. I, I, want, I want him to sort of sell him and then. Like Brendan used to make me sing and dance in Meadow Hall and, and, and this is good for them, you know, they're going to have to come out of themselves and be uncomfortable for time. Well, then, tell me your story then. My story, mate, uh, well, I don't really have nowhere to begin to be honest, all that matters is where you're going, innit? Yeah. So I might as well, like, what I want to do is just fight now, fight, train hard. You ready to fight? Oh yeah, damn it. Not ready fitness, fitness wise, not quite, but we're getting there, good we're getting stuff. there. Obviously, big Dave Allen there. No, he's I thought me he's like, he's like, he's like life coach, mate. He <laughs> sorts it out. I'm telling you. Yeah, he's like a good man, very good Oprah, man. Oprah, is he? Or Jerry yeah. McHale? Pardon? Is he Oprah or Jerry McHale? Jerry McHale. Well, alright. <laughs> not not just that. Right? <laughs> that's a new that's one. That's what they all call me now. But, uh, <laughs> you know what? We've got three, three men here, very, all very mm. different. All very, had very different lives. 
you know what I mean? Lee's not, Lee's not best street in Doncaster. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's a Porsche one, is he? Old, shi old sheep with a million pound house. You know, Danny's very similar to me, and, and Liam, obviously, it's uh, it's not been straightforward, but like you said, it's not where we start. I said to him, it's not where you start, it's where we end up. Yeah, end up yeah. And uh, I wanted I wanted to be successful in boxing, but more than that, I wanted to be successful in life. Well, and all three of them. He ain't got to be successful because all sheep will look after him, but <laughs> us three of us. You, you can tell he's got the money. Look at his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good. I'm bad too for now. So um, so there's us three, and there's numerous, numerous more. You know. All young men trying to better themselves. There's those young birds trying to get a bit of timber off. I hope they're not watching this. They're, no, they're, not, they're not big, like, they just they just want to shape up a little yeah, yeah. bit. So I'm really enjoying that, and that's why I'm still boxing. I'm still boxing to be the British heavyweight champion. I want to take that belt to my dad and my granddad. Number two, I need a platform to, to get more men like this involved. And number three, financially, because he only wears Ray's gloves in the cost of fortune. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, you're, so, not that, you're not a diva already, are you? He, he, he says, I'll get some new gloves. I say, oh. I'll, I'll settle for Lonsdale, and he's the one saying, you know what, get them rares, and he's buying, after, he's buying four pairs of rares. Yeah. No, I didn't buy four, I bought three, and an extra pair came by accident, and I gave my <laughs> legs, I'm a nice guy. Good man, good man. <laughs> well, let's talk about you a bit more. Obviously, you are in Newcastle. Yeah. Um, you probably might be on the show, a lot of people are thinking that, we don't know yeah. yet, but what, if you are on the show, what kind of... Like opponent are you after, are you thinking? Well, I've been messaging Eddie for weeks and weeks, and what's going off. I, I need to know what's going off, and to be honest, I don't really hear back from him, so... Oh, really? <laughs> So, too busy uh, for you now. Yeah, so I'll see him today. Um, I'm, I'm not, at the minute. I'm, I don't really think I'm going to box at Newcastle, but um, if I do, it's not to be. It's not to be someone not very good. Not very good. <laughs> Just to get you that win. I just want to get a few. You know what? I like. I like to box in Newcastle. The ideal world, but it's Newcastle. You enjoyed it last time, didn't oh, you? Oh, I love it in Newcastle. The Newcastle people are my people. I feel like I'm a. I'm a I should be. I should be from around here. You know what I'm saying? I'm a bit loopy, aren't I? Like <laughs> But uh, I'd love to do that in Bracamonte again at the end of the year. Yeah. That, that would be the plan. And then 2020, uh, keep going. But like I say, yeah, the other British side would be the aim when Dubois plays off, because I want to know illusion that man would punch my head clean off. He, m he might even knock it off. So. <laughs> you, you've jumped in with the best before, so why not? Yeah, of course, of course. But well, is that, you're just a wee bit smarter now. And I'm not scared to lose. I can lose mm -hmm. number 10 fights. Mm -hmm. I keep coming back and coming back so I get what I want, but... Got to be a little bit smarter. I want to be a winner. I love winning, mm -hmm. you know. Well, you experienced that high of the Lucas Brown, like yeah, knocking yeah. him out, and then obviously the low straight after. It, you know David what? Price. It was a low, but David Price winning filled me with so much happiness, and that's the reason why I'm all out of it. Yeah. I'm really happy for him. He's, he's a good, clean fighter. Mm -hmm. I'm happy for him. Which and people say, no, you're not. No, no, I am. Genuinely. I believe, no, I believe you. I'm, I believe I'm happy you. for him. I, I wish I had won, but I didn't. And if I'm going to lose to anybody, I'll lose to David Price happily. He's a good fella, and there. Uh, I hope he kicks on and does well, and I'll be back. I could have another 20 losses. I'm still going to be texting Eddie twice a day. What's going no on, Fed? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, answer. You have to fucking see me today, though. <laughs> uh, you can't escape me now. Quickly, before the crowd's starting to yeah. come in now for the press conference, just talking about this card, Ritson and Bay Davis Jr. There's a little bit brilliant, of last brilliant. time out, but yeah. what's your thoughts on the card? I think these two fights are crackers. There's another fight uh, going to be announced soon, which I can't mention for the middleweight. For, oh, no, I can't tell you who it is. It's, yeah, it's a middleweight yeah. title fight, but I can't tell you who it is. Um, Anyway, anyway. <laughs> Ritson and Davis Jr. Ritson Davis Jr. is an absolute cracker. I uh, can't really pick a winner. Like, I think I know I think will win, but I'm wrong half the time. Mm. More, more than half the time. But you think you would win a few times and you've lost them. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> I thought I'd win all five times. <laughs> um, that's an absolute cracker. Fitzgerald, if he can keep performing to the level he was in the foul fight and keep his nose clean and out of trouble, he's going to be a trouble for absolutely anybody in the world. He was fantastic. And Cheeseman's such an hard man. Great shows, a few other fights, maybe I might be on as well. And also, and, and that's it really. But I just want to mention Anthony Yard's performance. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fantastic. And people say to me, you don't like Anthony Yard. I do like Anthony Yard. You know, his trainer said some derogatory comments about me. But all that's on one side, it was absolutely fantastic the other night. Do you think, think it was just experience that played as part Yeah, of and that I just think with a few changes, uh, I'm not saying he has to get rid of his trainer and whatever else. Maybe bring another man on board mm -hmm. or maybe. Uh, other changes because don't believe half the shite you hear like I'm thinking because I talk shite on there sometimes to try and put of course he sparred not them changes other changes you know certain things and I, and I think he'll go all the way I think he's an absolute beast he'll probably beat me the only way he's than half so <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I just wanted to say he was brilliant and Kovalev was fantastic as well oh Kovalev against Canelo looks like yeah, so that would be intriguing yeah. I think Kovalev 
I wouldn't say, like, if Yard beat him the other day, you couldn't say Kovalev was a shot fighter, but he's definitely advancing in years, and I'd fancy Canelo to beat him, but, you know, Yard, Boatsy, Yard, even, uh, even Yard and Burton, and Yard and Callum Johnson, they're all great fights, so, um, good division. Fantastic. Same you can lose some weight and get down Yeah, there. well I can do cruise weight easier apparently if I chop my cock off, so uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll believe you. Right David, <laughs> thank you for this Michael TV. Cheers, Cheers David. Mate.